if you understand the narrative of the season revolving around Black Lives Matter and racial equality, you would realize that there's just simply no way that the NFL is going to allow the Chiefs to win the Super Bowl. Now, they may very well make it to the Super Bowl. I still am going to predict the Chiefs to make it. But there is zero, zero, zero possible chance of Kansas City winning the Super Bowl. Their racist Hick fans in Trumpland, Missouri booed Chiefs and Texans players during their moment of silence for Black Lives Matter, for black people whose lives came at the hands of the police, and for the advocation of racial equality. We believe black lives matter! Black lives matter! Yes, they do! They're screaming because silence is violence! That's what it is! We demand to hold the police, the police, more accountable. This is who the Kansas City Chiefs are. They are Native Indians. You got that right. Because if you break it down from that angle, Tampa does have the same gematria as Indian. But we are talking about the police right here. The Chiefs are symbolic to representing police chiefs. It all starts at the top. If the, can, if, the, if the police chiefs don't fire these incompetent racist cops, then you enable this disgusting behavior. And these stupid pieces of garbage booed these black people that they fail to emphasize and see their situation of encountering racial profiling and unjust treatment from police. And this is white people booing them. There's a reason they had Kansas City there. It's because the NFL knows that the Kansas City Chiefs are going to represent the police chiefs, representing the systemic system of racism across America. Why is it that the FBI has shown that white supremacists try to recruit cops in these police departments? Why is it that there is no oversight committee over policing? There is just no way the Chiefs are going to win. Their fans were booing the moment that the players and Unity have locked arms against the systemic racism surrounding America. Now, what I do have a problem with is that these players need to propose more solutions. How are they going to go about the fight for racial equality and against systemic oppression from the police? I just told you, create a federal police oversight committee and hold them accountable. Contribute your player salaries and lobby Congress to demand to hold police more accountable. These are solutions that have not been proposed by the players in the media, which I do have a problem with, but I agree with the absolute messaging that these players have, is that seeing through another lens, seeing through what a black man occurs, they're going to go through more profound from a police officer than, let's say, myself. It's a simple thing as walking out of the grocery store with the receipt. Oh, you're black. You stole that from the store, yeah. Oh, you're black. Are you sure you didn't steal something, right? So this is what we have a problem with. When you understand from this angle, there's no way that after the calls for Black Lives Matter, seeing Joe Biden win the election, seeing black people win Wisconsin with Milwaukee and Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania with Philadelphia, I should say, and Georgia with Savannah and Atlanta, there's just no way that the Chiefs are going to win the Super Bowl. You have to understand that from this angle. So, like... Uh, you know, the unity against systemic racism, the players locked arms, unity. The racists didn't like that. The racists in the crowd, Chiefs 32, boo 32, they booed the players. 
The players were protesting against systemic racism and demanding the calls for racial equality. It's the police that don't like it. They are the Kansas City Chiefs. They are the racists. Racial equality. Kansas City Chiefs, Gematria 64. Racial equality. After what happened with the events of George Floyd at Minneapolis. The Minneapolis native Larry the Legend. Something to ponder about. Something to ponder about. And make no mistake, it is true that many blacks, uh, many, many, many African Americans, I, I should say, commit, commit violence against themselves. But what we have an issue with is the disproportionate killings of black people by police. Now you turn yourself into full racist when you try to go that angle. You are just diverting away from the real subject at hand, which is about the unfair treatment of of minorities and people of color by the police. This violates the 14th Amendment. This violates the fact that the police don't treat everybody equally under the law when they enforce the law. And so we demand change. And the Kansas City Chiefs will not win the Super Bowl after what their fans did in week one of the season. There's just no way they're going to repeat. Absolutely no way. The narrative exists for it true but this is only telling you that the Chiefs will still make it to the Super Bowl. But it doesn't necessarily mean that it's going to happen. Instead of a repeat, you've got Larry Fitzgerald. And that's right. I say Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter! Black Lives Matter! If you don't like it, too damn fucking bad.